Hi, my name is Jenna Cunningham, and this is Montgomery Locks and Dam. Um, it's a U.S. Army Corps of Engineers facility, and I am the resident engineer for the Upper Ohio Resident Office. Uh, we're going to do a tour for you today. We've got a lot of uh, construction work that's ongoing and a lot that's about to get started. So come on, follow me. All right, so what we have here, this is the auxiliary chamber. This is the second lock chamber at Montgomery. This is a smaller chamber. It's 56 feet wide. It's one of the smaller lock chambers on the Ohio River. Eventually, here in the next year or so, we're going to get started on a project to completely redo this lock chamber, make it 110 feet wide by 600 feet long. Um, that will make it equivalent to our existing main chamber, which is just over here to the side. Every facility that has two locks, as we have here at Montgomery, will have three lock walls. We've got what we call the land wall. That's the one furthest from us here the middle wall here in the middle, and then the river wall. That's what separates the locks from the river. When we go to do the new um, chamber here at Montgomery, we will keep this existing middle wall. The new middle wall for the new chamber will actually go inside of this chamber that you're seeing here in front of you. The new river wall will be building out here in the river um, in the location of that first pier. So once we uh, get started on those two walls, We'll have to coffer dam off this entire area, demolish this wall that we're currently standing on. Um, and this, where we're standing, will become the new lock chamber where the boats can then pass through. So this that you're seeing here in front of you, this is called a fixed crest weir. It's an ungated um, dam bay. So we have no flood control on, on, on this part of the, uh, of the dam. No gate, just a fixed crest. This is going to go away when we build the new river chamber. So the river wall will be right about this pier here. This fixed crest weir, that gets completely demolished and the new chamber floor will be here where we're standing. So there's two pretty big reasons from my perspective that we need to do this project. The first one being capacity. So this current chamber, 56 feet wide, we're going to 110 feet. Clearly, we'll be able to get a lot more um, goods and um, ships through the new chamber than we can get through this chamber. The other is condition. You can see the condition of our existing chamber, and this is just the surface level. Um, there are other concerns, um, specifically with the middle wall and some of the issues that we've had there over the years that have led us to want to redo this chamber from a condition and safety perspective. Predominantly, the goods that we see come through our locks here are coal and aggregate. Um, both are very valuable resources that can be used for a lot of different things um, throughout the economy and throughout the country. So what you're seeing here is kind of the general condition of our auxiliary chamber. Um, clearly some leakage there in the miter gates, um, some spalling on the uh, chamber face general condition that you're going to see in a facility of this age. So we're currently standing over top of the fixed crest weir here at Montgomery. Eventually this will completely get demolished. New river wall will go here at this pier. New middle wall will go here inside of where the existing auxiliary chamber is. And the new river chamber will be directly below us where the old river wall and the fixed crest we are currently. So this is the main chamber here in Montgomery. And what you're seeing happening here inside of the chamber, this is our medium-sized repair fleet. It's an Army Corps of Engineers entity, and they are doing a lot of work on the main chamber right now. When we start construction on the new river chamber here, the auxiliary chamber is going to be shut down for quite a while, several years, which means we need to make sure that the main chamber is as good as we can get it prior to that work happening. So some of the stuff that they're doing right now, um, they're patching up some of the uh, monolith joints. They're rehabbing the sector gears. That's the machinery that moves the miter gates. And they're um, doing some repair work on the filling and emptying valves as well. Really excited to be here for the next decade or so as we work on the new river chamber project. Um, I think something that's been really great for me with the Army Corps 
is just the types of projects that we get to work on. Um, there are very, very few entities that work on locks and dams. Um, so this is a really unique experience, something that you don't fully learn in college, you don't fully learn it anywhere else. Um, so I've learned a lot since I've been working for the Army Corps of Engineers, and I know I'm going to be learning a lot over the next decade as well. So the Upper Ohio Navigation Project, it's going to consist of the reconstruction of three lock chambers, starting here at Montgomery, followed by Emsworth, and then by Dash Shields. Call it the Upper Ohio because, of course, the Ohio River starts in Pittsburgh, where the upper part of the Ohio River. Um, we'll be working on the first three locks on the Ohio River. They're happening in phases, honestly, just because of capacity, workload, and funding. Um, building a new lock chamber is very expensive, um, so it can be difficult to get that much money um, to do one, let alone three at one time. Um, so they've got to be spaced out, they've got to be phased. We're going to go visit an ongoing construction project that we have now. We're expecting to award the mega project for the new river chamber sometime this fiscal year. Um, in the meantime, we elected to pull forward some of the work for uh, the site development uh, in the location that's going to be the future batch plant. The batch plant's the facility that's going to make all of the concrete that we'll use to build the new river chamber. So we're going to go take a look at that construction project next. All right, so this site here used to be a fully wooded hillside when we started on this construction project back in March. We are currently in the process of leveling the site. It'll create a nice flat area for us to build the batch plant on. These piles were all just driven um, last week. They actually finished on Tuesday. This is going to be a retaining wall. So we'll be bringing in precast lagging, that's concrete panels that will slide between these uh, piles to create a nice vertical surface. Then this hillside, this um, dirt hillside that you see, that's going to come down and we'll level that off at a nice even elevation that will be supported by this retaining wall once it's built. So one really nice thing with projects like this is you do get um, a lot of varied type of work, right? We've got welders, pile drivers, carpenters, operators, we'll have electricians. Um, there are a lot of different fields and a lot of different trades that get employed by work like this. So this entire hillside needs to be leveled out um, the ground we're standing on should come down about another eight feet. Um, so we'll come up from this bench here, level off here, and we'll have a nice approximately three to four acre flat site that we can then come build the new batch plant on. Um, that batch plant, we're not entirely sure how it's going to look exactly yet. That will ultimately be up to the future contractor, but there will be a lot to it. Um, the actual concrete producing machinery and facility, aggregate storage. Um, there's going to be a testing lab, so the contractor will do their own testing, and then the Army Corps will also have a lab uh, where we'll do testing as well of all of the concrete that's getting produced here. All right, well, that's it for today's tour. I really appreciate you guys walking around here with me. Um, again, this is Montgomery Locks and Dam. We're going to be here for a while. We've got a lot of work coming up, so please make sure you stay tuned. We'll be doing this again.